Hello everyone! Uh, my brother-in-law's son suggested that I should make an intro while uh, rotating on my chair, so there it is. <laughs> uh, here, just uh, check this out. It's a letter I received today, it's from YouTube, uh, but uh, you don't have to read it. Uh, I, did, I did prepare like uh, a, a digital version of it, so for any of you who are interested in reading what it says, uh, you're very welcome to pause the video. Uh, so that's uh, the letter, and with the letter I also received something else. So here it is, uh, you can check it out. Uh, and it was in this position that YouTube resigned the game. Me and my friend were playing chess in a bar, and we were playing uh, Blitz games for like uh, maybe three or four hours. And uh, well, when we were done with playing chess, uh, my friend uh, left the bar and uh, he gave up chess to become a librarian. Uh, when you see something like this, you are either playing uh, against, uh, you know, uh, a total noob or against uh, a former world champion. And uh, another good news, it's now available in 180p, so I have no idea what's wrong with YouTube. Where is Medo? Well, I think he, he's around. Probably in the kitchen. I know that if anyone woke you up at like 3 a.m. and asked you like, hey, who won the who won second place in the 1959 candidates tournament, uh, I'm sure you all would know. I will also be streaming if my internet service provider, you know, provides me <laughs> with the service of internet. I fixed my internet provider now. I mean, I didn't fix it, I changed it. So let's check out game four and we have to use some special effects to switch the players here. There we go. Uh, well, the idea is that black's position is really funny and that white is better. Another victory for Paul Charles Morphy. Uh, I, I just realized I miswrote Charles. <laughs> uh, but uh, okay, well, I mean, what are you gonna do? Here, Nepo played queen captures on f6 and he laughed at Fabi for having no pieces left on the board and Fabi said, yes, you are correct. And if you look at this position, uh, out of out of nowhere, Fischer is now actually up a pawn against, uh, against Mikhail Botvinnik. And the black king, although uh, active, is a bit too active for, its, for his own good. So here we have this one again. Now let's go back to this one. And the chess one again. You know, even in those days, they they had nice cameras. Only only not for chess. Here we have uh, also a nice close up of Alexander Grishuk uh, pretending like he's uh, he's not really sure what he's going to play in today's game. But uh, I mean, who is he kidding? And it was in this position that Vladislav Artemiev, also known as Chuck Norris, resigned the game as there is nothing more to be done here. We have queen to h7 and now just b8 with another queen. So now Vincent has two queens, which is of course uh, almost always better than one queen. Uh, have a shot of whiskey every five moves or something like that, you know, just to make it more interesting. So, uh, you know, cheers. I, of course, will do this video in a hoodie uh, to honor the hoodie guy as he always loses the greatest of games uh, for, for our uh, I enjoyment. The king is boxed in uh, in this in this little box here. Uh, the arrows are giving me some, some problems. First you play rook to g8, that novelty, then you combine it with king to f8, then you bring the rook back to h8, and then you bring the king back to e8. So like an improved bong cloud, if you will. Spielman plays f5. Uh, he plays a Tal move, although in those days it was called a Spielman move. I was catching the premiere of um, uh, the Avengers Endgame, and uh, I, I must say it, it was quite an endgame. Uh, one of the best I've seen so far. Morphy not in a rush to, to win back the piece, as it is inevitable. Altitude sickness. Uh, I've also found uh, some people call it uh, elevation sickness. Uh, what altitude sickness is, basically your body reacts to uh, lower oxygen pressure at uh, higher altitudes. A wonderful queen sacrifice. And he didn't just play knight captures on d7. Uh, he played knight captures on d7 at 60 frames per second. That's that's really a an excellent move. So uh, usually if uh, you don't know why you're capturing, you know, there's the old saying to... Uh, uh, what's the thing? Uh, and uh, uh, <laughs> sorry, uh, and uh, to take is a mistake. Now finally, you can start uh, remaneuvering these knights. These knights. These nuts. <laughs> Got <he. laughs> If you have a weak heart, this is this is uh, you know very dangerous to watch. Uh, but okay, without further ado. And now bishop back to b3, grabbing hold of this diagonal, but also preparing, uh, sorry about that. Sorry about that, it's amazing how the mailman always arrives when I start recording. The mailman, the mailman. 
Ooh, sorry about that. Uh, my my father brought over some food for the mailman. I couldn't wait. Mailman. The mailman. Sorry, I, I just have to check the mailman for a second. He's doing some weird stuff. The mailman. Uh, there, there's the mailman on the table, so I, I'm just checking if he, he didn't uh, go get another mailman. Uh, he didn't. He, he was only trying to do it. Sorry about that. Dog barking. The mailman. There was someone at the door. Uh, we, we avoided the second mailman uh, for this video. Hopefully there will not be a third one. The mailman. The mailman. Congratulations, you are an excellent listener of Epic Music. I do hope you enjoyed that. Uh, I certainly have. I always enjoy some high quality footage. Now, uh, just a heads up, I'm going to ask you to pause the video 4 million times uh, in this video. So uh, for those of you who decided to pause the video, congratulations. Uh, well, just on your decision to pause the video. Uh, why is there a Gandalf-like person here where, when usually there is a chessboard? Uh, it's not uh, from this exact match uh, as uh, this is from 1958. And this match that we are now covering is from 1950. Uh, and the now castles and bishop to d7. This was uh, uh, this ace. Sorry about that. Whoa. So everyone attack I got <laughs> no. Uh, Giri said he wants to focus. We should focus on him. <laughs> An excellent subscriber sent me this mug. I don't know if you guys have seen it. So thanks, Thomas, for that. Uh, it's a nice one. You 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 can't get one. It's one of a kind. It's it's just for me. If Black does not uh, execute f5, he cannot look for anything more than a win. When I searched for a, for a photo of Mr. Kevin Spraggett, I googled Mr. Uh, Kevin Spraggett, and uh, after you Google Kevin Spraggett and click images, you get uh, you get uh, well a large amount of uh, naked ladies. It's uh, it's important not to do a, a, a bad move. It's always important not to do a bad move, but here it's uh, especially important. Due to Paulson's long thinking for uh, over for an hour for one move, 50 minutes for one move, uh, like, uh, you know, like uh, like Grishuk time. It's no wonder they, that they had to invent chess clocks. And here there is one game where castles was played, which, uh, which makes sense. Your G2 pawn is under attack. You don't want to just give it up. Or do you? You can't go here, you can't go here, you you can go here, but you're not really going anywhere from there. So uh, by the looks of it, you know, Rajabov's Dark Knight isn't about to rise anytime soon. Knight to e4 now, uh, with strong control of e5, e you also have a hole on e4, so Anand uses it for his knight. Uh, white is up a pawn, but uh, I'm sure he's not really proud of it. For those of you uh, who decided to repeat moves with rookie 2, uh, shame on you. Karakin already played his first move, e4, and Carlsen is waiting for someone to take his photo uh, before actually make his first move. Evan Hau with his, uh, what appears to be a carton of milk, uh, and Pragnananda for the moment with, without any refreshments. He needs some milk! And now g5. Giri wants to now start an attack against Giri's kings since uh, Giri already castled. So c6, not the most precise idea, but you know, countering an imprecise idea with another imprecise idea, always a good idea. We have queen to d5 offering, uh, well not offering, threatening checkmate. So it's very interesting how Carlsen uh, played out this entire game by forcing this bishop basically to, to pretend to be a pawn for the rest of the game. <laughs> My favorite 13th century archbishop. Uh, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't have a favorite yet. I'm, I'm still deciding between a few. I will also put a link to his Facebook profile, uh, so you know you can write there something like, "Ha ha ha! You missed mating too." <laughs> Karakin's plan is queen to f1, uh, making room for the rook, then rook to h3, and then trying to infiltrate uh, Fabi uh, from behind. <laughs> Nepo played knight to d7, and it's a. Uh, uh, it's a really funny move, uh, but it's funny for uh, a very specific reason. It's funny because it loses the game. Queen back to d7. Now he wants to go to b8 and to have a triple, uh, triple ar artillery on, on the b file. He really has big hair, so it's really hard to find one uh, where you can fit his uh, hair inside of the profile photo. And here he's like this, so it, it nicely fits. All, all the other photos, uh, if you if you find any new, like from 2019, they, they just don't fit. He has like massive hair. You can capture bishop, uh, you can capture the rook, you can checkmate the black king if you like. Uh, you know, which, whichever you prefer. You know, I always prefer to go for checkmate. Black decides to go for f5. And here we have this very nice Stonehenge structure, which is, uh, well, most of the times very safe for black. 
Shahrir Mamedyarov and Maxim Vashir Lagrave enjoying uh, a nice swing there. You can see they are they are <laughs> both very happy. And regardless of how they play here in Paris, you, with this attitude, they are already winners. And it's very interesting as it uh, features a similar line. Uh, well, it's the same line uh, until it's not. Uh, a bit counterintuitive because by playing f6, uh, well, you've played f6. Uh, and here, well, we played f6 uh, and uh, well, it's just checkmate now. So if it's uh, if f6 delivers checkmate, then it is okay to play f6. Uh, but yeah, really crazy stuff. You know, N Nepo, the, the Jedi master with, with his mind tricks. This little gentleman here cannot believe what Rajavo just did. He pushed e5. And also we have this little gentleman here. He had to drop his shades to check if, if, if Rajavo really did play e5. But I will now show the standings after round seven. So for those of you who are still not interested in the standings, uh, you know, don't watch. Uh, close your eyes for a couple of seconds. Uh, Maxim Varshel Lagrav defeated Yanni Pomnishi. The two of them now share first place Bruh. with four and a half. Immediately, Pologevsky attacks uh, Bishop's funny. Uh, Fisher's funny plays the Bishop on e3. I'm pretty sure I covered that game on my channel. If uh, if I have, I, I will include a link to it in the description below. If not, then, you know, forget I said anything. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, I would like to thank Robert Fisher, Harry Potter, Thanos, Captors Captors, Seymour Butts, and Agat Mator's dog for a contribution to my channel. Thank you a lot. I really appreciate it. Uh, as usual, you can check two of my previous videos here. Thank you all for watching, and uh, I'll see you soon. Uh, next video, I will also do a very, well, peculiar YouTube video. So uh, prepare yourselves. Uh, thank you all, and I'll see you soon.